Today, we are picking up our livestock guardian dog. He's a Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd mix, so we're super excited. We've got to drive about four hours to go get him. We are running a little slow this morning. We thought that we would get going a lot faster and quicker, but uh, sometimes it's just a bit of a production. Our weather's been warming up quite a bit. We've been getting some nice spring weather, but our chickens are eating more than ever. They've been laying really well. Just about all of them are laying. We're getting about a dozen eggs a day, which is really cool. Good morning, guys. some good weather so far it's about a four hour drive we got to enjoy a little bit of sun for a little while but not for long it's cloudy again last time we did this drive when we were picking up the sheep we had a trailer and we were driving at night on a two-lane narrow highway with the most fog I've probably ever driven through so it was really low visibility and, yeah. and dark too with the fog yeah, so it's nice to be doing this drive without any of that nonsense and be able to see what's going on. It's pretty. One Sunday morning, the cowboy rode high upon his steed Just to show the world what God meant for a man to be I looked him up and down and didn't say a word As he rode through the town, he split that cat with her. One brave soul stepped in front of him and had the courage to ask what everyone's thinking. Rider, oh rider, what should we call you? Rider, oh rider, are you the good man here to join us, or just another bad hombre? Summer's day, he came for all to see. 
A man that holds his head high and still has his dignity. Once again, they laid their gaze upon that cowboy. Sit. Rock. Sit. Bitte. Rock. Bitte. Good boy, buddy. Come on. Sit. Bitte. <laughs> and right away he don't take well to follow me Another lost soul stepped in front of him And asked him what's so great about a life with little sin. We got the little guy! We introduced him to Knox um, before we decided on him. We wanted to make sure that everybody liked each other and was gonna be good friends and they seemed to really like each other. They played a little bit. He rolled on his back for Knox and they were being really sweet to each other. Ridge is really trying to sniff him right now. Um, he's got a- oh hi! Yeah, he's got a super nice, calm temperament. The poor guy did already get car sick and threw up, but we're doing good. It's gonna be kind of a hard transition for the little guy today, but um, he's drooling a lot. Oh, yeah. Rider, oh rider, what should we call your name? Rider, oh rider, you good man. Join us, or just another bad hombre. The writer spoke in parables, then Jesus taught in Galilee, and told them about a man that can save them all from me. Devil in the night that grabs them when no one can see. The puppy is totally out. He finally settled in after quite a while of being really, really nervous. The poor guy's just been drooling. Um, got a little car sick and threw up twice, um, but we're on the downhill swing of things. We're getting close to home, about 45 minutes to an hour left. Right here, all right here. Please don't share your name. Right here, all right here. We are on the final stretch. We're on the dirt road. We're almost back. This guy is really <laughs> ready to be out of the car. Yes, everybody is ready to be done with the trip. So we're on our way up. Yeah, we got a little bit of uh, daylight left, so we're gonna acquaint him to the property and get everybody all situated. We're all gonna be sleeping inside the cabin tonight. Good boy.
boy. This is the first night in his new home. And this is how, this is mom's ritual when she gets a new dog. When we get a new dog, she sleeps on the ground with them so that they can settle in just well. She's a very good mother. <laughs> we did this with Knox about a year ago um, in Missoula last time. And so Knox is very concerned that he's being moved, bumped down on the pedestal of favorites. So he's a little jealous. So he's going to sleep on the bed with dad. <laughs> and we're on the ground, but he's settling in good. He is. He's very sleepy. And we will check back in tomorrow. We made it through the night. Barely. <laughs> it was a bit of a long night. The dogs took quite a while to adjust. Um, the old dogs, um, the puppy did just fine. He was really easy going and doing really good. He's drinking a ton of water right now. So we are having to rethink our fencing a little bit. Um, the first time we put him in here, he just bolted out. So we're gonna add another strand here. So we're gonna have four total. And so hopefully he gets a good, well, we will make sure that he gets a good exposure to the electric fence and does not want to touch that again. Jaden is working on getting that extra strand up on the fence and I'm just in our little chain link pen we have in here with the little house. Um, this is just an area, he's not gonna spend much time in here, but if we ever need a time when he just can't fail, um, this ensures that he's not gonna get too frisky with the sheep and not get ch uh, testy with the fence. Um, so he'll have his own little spot in here and he can just come in here and relax so he has a space that the sheep can't bother him as well. Yeah. So it's been a little over a week with this little guy hi he is doing so good he's bonding really well to the sheep and the sheep are actually really liking him the one of our girls in there that one kind of hidden in the shadows she and him are really hitting it off they're trying to figure out how to play together not quite sure how So he is in the sheep pen permanently now. He's doing really well. He has not been challenging the fence. It took, it ended up taking five strands and about, oh. <laughs> We had to do five strands to make sure that he couldn't just run through it. He's got so much fur, um, he got spooked twice um and just bolted through the fence without getting shocked at all so it took five strands so that he can't just bolt through it and it took him three really good shocks right on his nose to figure it out he um 
he was super traumatic all three of those times it was pretty sad one of them he was actually just trying to go to the bathroom and you know how they do that little um like shuffle sometimes while they're going and he shuffled into the fence <laughs>